This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. While the midterm election results are still rolling in, we're still uh, getting a, a fuller picture of what took place last night. I want to play a clip. <laughs> There's just no, no way to really preface it. I played this a few times, a couple times, on the live stream last night where Brittany Page and I covered the midterms and the results as they came in. And there's this clip of Donald Trump from an interview just prior to the vote where he's asked about should he get credit if the Republicans run away with this thing? And of course, in Donald Trump fashion, he says, yes, I deserve all the credit. But if they lose, I deserve none of the blame. In classic Donald Trump fashion, he's very consumed with the credit. He wants credit for it because all the decisions are his. And now we're learning in the aftermath of the onslaught that was not a red wave like they predicted. Donald Trump is now blaming everyone else, pointing fingers at everyone else, including Melania Trump, his wife. First, let's play this very brief clip from this interview, and then let's read from some reporting from Maggie Haberman about who Donald Trump is incensed at, furious at. Watch this. You've endorsed more than 330 candidates this election cycle. Uh, Tonight, win or lose, the results for Republicans, um, how much of that will be because of Donald Trump? Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all, okay? But it'll probably be just the opposite. Uh, When they win, I think they're going to do very well. I'll probably be given very little credit, even though in many cases I told people to run. And they ran, and they turned out to be very good candidates. You know, they've turned out to be very good candidates. uh, But usually what would happen is uh, when they do well, I won't be given any credit. And If they do badly, they will blame everything on me. So I'm prepared for anything, but we'll defend ourselves. Obsessed, obsessed with credit. The quote, if they win, I should get all the credit. If they lose, I shouldn't get any blame at all. (laughs) And then to some tweets from Maggie Haberman. Trump is indeed furious this morning, particularly about Mehmet Oz and is blaming everyone who advised him to back Oz, including his wife, describing it as not her best decision, according to people close to him. There are two other tweets here, but let's analyze this one. It's not her best decision. When you are in a position of power as an executive, as a politician, as the leader of the Republican Party, because that's what he is, Of course you have counselors. Of course you have people giving you advice. But ultimately, with any good leader, the buck stops with you. After you've taken on board all of the advice and all of the strategy suggestions from your advisors, ultimately you have to make the decision. You you can't blame them for the bad advice that you took because you made the decision to put forward Mehmet Oz, the snake oil salesman ghoul, as a candidate. You made the decision to back Herschel Walker, the prop cop, Donald Trump. You can't go blaming Melania for your bad decisions. You can't be furious at everyone around you. Why did you give me such bad advice? You took the advice. It's on you, dumb dumb. These tweets continue. There are people pushing Trump to reschedule his announcement next week, and several R's have texted, several Republicans, have texted asking whether he will, but it's risky, and would be acknowledging he's wounded by yesterday, something that some of his advisors insist is not the case. Donald Trump is, without a doubt, absolutely wounded. More and more, and you're going to be seeing it in the, in the coming days, more Republicans willing to come out and start distancing, distancing themselves from him because he has damaged goods. They are now seeing the writing on the wall that he's not the sure thing they've always thought he was. That he spells disaster for the party. And it only took, what, 
five, six years for them to figure it out. Fantastic, Republicans. This last tweet, worth remembering that Trump is a grown man who endorsed Oz over the objection of some of the people closest to him and instead went beyond just endorsing and attacked Dave McCormick from the stage at a rally. That was during the primaries. Donald Trump is a weak-minded, credit-seeking, braggadocious douche, to put it mildly. And the Republicans have hitched their wagon to the dump truck of Donald Trump. And now they're going to be, oh, what happened? What happened? When you back fascism, this will be the result. Look, uh, it's not lost on me that nearly 2 million people voted for the prop cop, Herschel Walker. A million nine hundred thousand, I believe, as it stands now. That's alarming. That is troubling to be sure. But we should take a moment, a brief respite, to take a a sigh of relief, to take a deep breath, a cleansing breath that the mandate from from the country isn't to endorse republicanism. I mean, Lauren Boebert may be gone. She may be out of a job, and that is good news. And this is also pretty hilarious on its face. That to be expected Donald Trump to blame everyone around him rather than be reflective of the mistakes he's made. That he is not the, a kingmaker. He's not a king or a kingmaker. What do you think about all of this? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. We had a real good time on the live stream last night. Went for three and a half or so hours, three, three, three forty-five or so. Um, thanks for all of you who joined, Brittany Page and I. It was a good time. Um, we we should do more of those, not just on election nights. Um, follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And if I do something that brings you value, that you appreciate, and you'd like to support my work, help produce what we do here, click the join button below this video, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can click on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support the work we do here. There is a lot of work to be done, to be sure. Uh, relative to securing our democracy and beating back the steady march of fascism. Last night was just one battle of many in an ongoing campaign against the, the erosion and destruction of our democracy. And I hope you will join in that fight. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.